Oh, goodness gracious, you got to love me some Will Smith. And if you like that jam, by the way, that was Nod Your Head, the remix by Will Smith. I'm not a DJ or anything, but man, that's definitely get you pumped up. Hey, it's Patrick Allman from StopDoingNothing.com, and today's live stream is a continuation of the series we are doing this week uh, from my article that was recently published in Success, um, Success Magazine's website called The Five Disciplines of, uh, what is it, The Five Non-Negotiable Disciplines of a High Achiever. And if you missed yesterday's video, be sure you go back and watch that. We covered discipline one, which was the discipline of believing. And there's a quick video, I think it may be five minutes, definitely no more than 10 minutes, on the fan page and on YouTube from the uh, first discipline, which we talked about yesterday. So the first discipline was the discipline of believing. And today we're going to talk about the second one. Uh, and I'm looking at the article right here, is the discipline of eliminating interruptions. And you should be able to go to either the fan page or success.com and read the same article. And the discipline of eliminating interruptions is one that I came up with because um, I don't think that I necessarily have um, ADHD, uh, but I do think that I can have, uh, you know, shiny object syndrome or squirrel syndrome or whatever you want to call it. And I think um, uh, everybody does to a point that it's, it's very easy for you to just see something else in your peripheral vision or another someplace else on a web page or your phone rings or you get a text message or it's something like that and it's very easy to get distracted uh, from what you were doing heck this live stream itself might be interrupting you oh and as always by the way uh, when you're watching live make sure you drop uh, where you are from and your name down there in the comments and share it if it's if it's helpful for you but yeah there's always ways for us to get distracted and like I said even this live stream may be uh, interrupting you and I think our world over time has just basically oriented itself that way it's you know it's okay to interrupt what someone's doing it's become acceptable that you know you're doing one thing and it's okay to, to quote unquote multitask which is a bs word and we all know that uh but it's a horribly horribly unproductive practice and uh the, you, you may live in an environment where you don't have 100 percent control of it you know your work or your home environment but i think that there are ways where you can stem it and kind of kill that and that's why i wrote up this second discipline the discipline and eliminating interruptions i'm going to read the uh section here and then talk about it a little bit in some ways that maybe you can alter your life to not have so many interruptions or at least to gear down the interruptions um, the world around you is structured to interrupt you. If you already struggle with focus, you are fighting a losing battle from the moment you wake up. If you are normally a focused person but don't control your environment, your day will become a series of interruptions. To combat this, you need to turn off everything that can attract your attention, and I mean everything. Uh, my phone never makes an audible noise, and that's a very true statement. Uh, I keep it very face down most of the time, so I can't see the screen lit up. And when I install new applications, I disable notifications. Very, very important. And that's exactly the way I want it. I lived a great life before text messages. Can you even imagine? And life will go on if I miss one now. And the final paragraph wraps with, you learn to be comfortable with silence and focus. The quality of your work will drastically increase and you will be more productive. And the depth of your thinking will increase because you will have long periods to dedicate your thoughts. Now, the first thing that comes to mind when I talk about this is the cell phone, because that's what I'm broadcasting from you, from you from, and that's what's in front of me right now. When you install applications, whether it's email applications, games, uh, utilities, music applications, at least on the iPhone, I don't remember how my Android works, but at least on the iPhone, every application that you install pops up and says, hey, uh, would you like me to send you notification? Which means if whatever reason the app developer wants to use to interrupt your life, you're giving him or her permission to do. And you need to stop doing that crap, and I'm dead serious. Every single time something pops up on your phone and says, hey, I want to interrupt your life. I want to take time and bring time to the phone and take time away from whatever you're doing. You need to stop that. And if you've probably, you've probably installed several apps already where that's turned on, Go into the settings of your phone and disable that crap. Disable every single notification on your phone. Put yourself, uh, oh cool, I got at least 10 people viewing in. And as you're tuning in, by the way, leave a comment below about who's watching and where you're from and what you think about all this. But go into every single notification for every single app on your phone, unless it's like your insulin app. I don't even know if there is an insulin app. Uh, or not. But, but turn off every single one. Same thing goes with text messages. 
Uh, and same thing goes with actual ringing of the phone. I, even though I pick a ringtone on my phone, my phone basically never makes a noise. I keep it on vibrate all the time, and it's usually a soft surface, and the rest of the time it's not on vibrate. It's actually just lights up when something happens, like a phone call or a uh, or a text message, and then oftentimes I don't see that because it's face down, and that's the way you should live it. I mean, can you imagine living before cell phones? Now, I'm sure I know what some of you are going to say that, uh, oh, it could be an emergency. It could be my mom. It could be my dad. It could be my kids. Um, you have to think about it, though. Usually, if, if it's an emergency, you know, like your kids are at school or something, you're the last person they should be calling. There's teachers. There's a nurse around there. Uh, yes, you have parents, and yes, there are exceptions, okay, and I understand that there are exceptions, but you know, bill collectors, credit card companies, friends, uh, extended family, people like this, um, they're great to talk to, but schedule it in your life. Don't let it interrupt your life, especially in the middle of the day or your highly productive times. Um, you need those times to focus. The same thing goes with email. One of the practices I've had to learn probably really strongly over the past six months is I don't keep my email open all the time. And, and my reasoning for this is to remember how, you know, I used to be pretty productive or I, I was not going to say I was more productive, but somehow I used to live without these interruptions and we've kind of geared our lives to basically be interrupt driven. And I use Google Apps, so I, I have a tab open all the time, uh, some of the time with my email, but I stopped, I've started doing, I've stopped doing that. If there's something in email that needs my attention, I will say, okay, look at that. That needs to be done and close down that, close down that app. And, and anything that interrupts their technology wise that wants to pop up, do the same thing you do when I was talking about with the cell phone is disable every single notification. Uh, and also make sure you get in the habit of going from your oldest emails to your newer ones, not the first in, first out kind of thing. All good things to uh, remember how to do. And let's look at this article one more time. Let's see what else, what other kind of interruptions can you 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 kill? Um, learn to basically set aside time to do certain tasks. If I was to, and this is, we're going to cover this more tomorrow in the discipline of time management, but if I was to show you my calendar right now, most of my calendar looks like I'm pretty busy. And that's because I have several blocks of time set aside to do certain tasks. To even, I'll even set aside a block of time to think about media production, for example, and do my media production on Thursdays. And that's how most of my calendar is. We're going to talk about, about that tomorrow. But that's the way that your calendar should be set up also. But when it comes to technology, when it comes to people interruptions, if you work in an office environment where you need to get something done, don't be afraid to find a room where you can close the door and close the door. Uh, and again, I know that's not ideal for everybody, but you'd be surprised what you can accomplish when you are alone with your thoughts and nothing is interrupting you. Uh, if you even need to for your phone, turn the dang phone off. Um, but you just have to learn to set aside these blocks of focus time if you really want to get anything done. Be selfish and stingy with your time. That's what I want you to take away with this. Be selfish and stingy with your time. Your life has a limited amount of availability and a limited amount of time that you are allowed to accomplish great things if you are the type of high achiever that wants to accomplish great things. And it's actually possible to live a life full of interruptions. If you set it up right, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, you can just basically be interrupt driven, interrupt after interrupt, on top of interrupt, on top of interrupt. I used to watch, um, I used to, I'm a big fan of uh, Aaron Sorkin on the West Wing. Love Aaron Sorkin on the West Wing. But one of the things I always thought was funny about West Wing and some of his other series is, is they would actually stack interruptions on top of each other. Somebody could be in like a meeting with like the Secretary of State on the West Wing, and somebody would interrupt that meeting to basically trivial make a may say some kind of trivial statement, and then somebody would interrupt on top of that. And I love this show, but I always thought it was kind of funny how they basically almost like stack interruptions. That's one of his directing styles. And I'm like, how could you possibly live with that? Where basically your day Technically, your day is planned, but really your day is just nothing but a series of interruptions from the very first thing you started the day. Anyways, great show. If you have a chance, get to watch it. Anyways, go read that article. If you uh, can't find it on success.com, it's still on the front page someplace. You should be able to look on the stopdoingnothing.com fan page. 
um, and see it there and go over and read it. And as always, you know, leave your comments on the fan page and let me know what you think about it. Um, also, if you were interested, I talked about this yesterday. If you like these live streams and you want to get notified about them, leave a comment below and I will set up a text messaging number so you can text me in your cell number and then I will alert you about five or 10 minutes before I do a live stream so you can watch and participate because I know it's not necessarily, again, it's not necessarily always planned in your schedule. I don't always do them at the exact same time. So if you like the idea of basically participating live with me, uh, leave a note below and I will set up a text number and maybe I'll have that ready by um uh, goodness gracious, by tomorrow, and then you can start texting in when you want to watch these live. But until then, thank you very much for watching. This has been Patrick Allman from StopDoingNothing.com. If you haven't done so, also be sure you go over to StopDoingNothing.com and subscribe to my email list. Yes, I'll give you a freebie, but there's a whole a lot of things that we have coming up that we're always working on to make you a better person in your life, in your business, and in your relationships. And my big phrase out of everything when it comes to stop doing nothing is how to be a high achiever. I love working constantly on myself, falling over and tripping and falling on my ass and on my face, and then taking the lessons from that, making myself a better person, and then saving and then sharing those lessons with you in print form, in visual form, in image form, whatever. Big Instagram user also. Thanks for watching. As always, leave a comment below, and I will see you tomorrow when we talk about the third discipline, the discipline of time management. And it won't be the same old boring crap you hear about time management. I've got some unique perspectives on that also, which I cannot wait to share with you. But again, it kind of does cross over a little bit also with the a discipline of eliminating interruptions. Take care. Back to some more music. Turn on music. It always puts you in a good mood. We'll see you soon.